Welcome to Outer Banks Part 2. Join us. Welcome to Day 5 in Outer Banks. It's a bit windy today, but we're going to be on the beach. A little bit. For a little bit. Oh, it's a little bit windy, or we're going to be out here for a little bit? A little bit, bit windy. It's a bit, it's a bit windy. We, we're wearing our George Washington Bicentennial hats. <laughs> they ain't working too well. Yeah, you definitely do look like George Washington. <laughs> no. Four score in seven years. That's not it. <laughs> we're just hanging out out here. I'm playing, I'm playing Sega Genesis on my little handheld. She's reading the book. I don't know how much is going on today, but we're trying to get some sun here at the beach. Look at those waves. There's not even a beach left. We have to be up here on the dune. Not a dune. You're not supposed to be on the dune. This is an area next to the dune. What? Uh-oh. You see my eyes? Oh, yeah. I didn't know I had the raccoon eyes full on. I told you that. Holy moly, I thought I just had a little bit. You got a lot of it. Wow, it wasn't even that sunny. That's how it gets, yeah. No wonder I'm tired. <laughs> I never looked in the mirror all afternoon. Anyways, we're going to Sonny's restaurant right now. Um, this was recommended by Brittany's uncle. Mm -hmm. It's a really good seafood place that Brittany's gonna eat because I don't like seafood. I'll have chicken tenders, I'm just kidding. I'll have a salad probably. So let's check it out. I'll show you what she gets. I am so burnt. So you got the blue crab brisk? Bisk. Bisk. <laughs> what is this to the non? This is like a soup, but with crab in it. See the chunks? Mm. It's like Alfredo cream? No. <laughs> She's asking that because he got Alfredo for dinner. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? Seafood platter, scallops, crab cake, shrimp, mahi mahi, and clam strips. Hmm. And good. green beans. Parmesan green beans for hashtag hill. And I got pasta <laughs> and toast the kids menu. It wasn't on the kids menu. Well my pasta was great and my what was it basically grilled cheese and grilled <laughs> cheese and pasta that was you know, it was great from the kids menu. Kids menu. Yeah yeah yeah. How was yours? Delish. What was your favorite part? The crab cake was really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Almost second. That was almost as good. Scallops. Mm. It looked really juicy. Mm -hmm. If they're supposed to be juicy. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Fish people. Let's get some ice cream. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm so shy when there's people around. I'm not a professional vlogger. <laughs> I do this in my garage. <laughs> there's nobody around. We're going to Happy Belly Ice Cream as I put this through the tinted window of my car because it's <laughs> not as brave as standing out there and just recording. <laughs> Let's get some ice cream. Shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> so this is the this is the cookie overload. And this is the crazy coconut, even though they look almost the same. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to do another video after we eat half of it. <laughs> I know this was like cookie dough ice cream. Oreo ice cream, beef bars, and Oreos? Uh, yeah, and fudge? Something. And hot fudge, yeah. This, I don't know. Mine's a coconut ice cream, chocolate syrup, vanilla wafers. I think that's it. Good morning. Welcome to day six of the Outer Banks trip. We are going to Okakoke Island. <laughs> today we have to take a ferry out there that ferry is the only way to get to that island um, we had to come back and do an exchange 
Brittany wanted a Baja hoodie. She wanted a nice purple Baja hoodie. And Baja blankets, so we had to get all the Baja blankets. She's going all in. And I got this all nice in. book here for um, Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. Just the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. Oh, that'll be good reading for when we're on the ferry for an hour. <laughs> So the next up is the ferry ride. Um, we got to get in line. The ferry comes. All the cars load on, and then it's an hour trip around uh, to the island. And then we're going to spend the day on the island. Get dinner out there, lunch out there, coffee out there. Beach. Probably shopping and beach. Oh yeah, beach out there too. So spend the day with us on the island. Oh, and there's a lighthouse too for you know last week's video. So you see right here just goes on out this is where we're at right now um, let me switch to zoom so we're waiting in line there's a bunch of cars here and over here and you just wait for the ferries to show up I think during the day they come every 30 minutes and then later in the evening it's every hour so there's a bunch of cars lined up there and a bunch of cars lined up there and a lot of airstreams on this trip I've seen a lot of airstreams so now we just wait for the ferry to arrive, which is either going to be 12.30 or 1. We'll see which one that we get on. And we wait. And we wait. But I got that book, so plenty of time to read a book, right? Mm-hmm. see here that there's you can see those crosses way up there there's three boats that have arrived I think the left one is a passenger only boat and these two on the left center or the center and the right are the vehicle boats they're unloading the middle boat right now also all the cars coming off of the island and trucks and everything are coming off of it and then I believe they will start loading these rows of cars as they fill them up so it's not like we're in row four we're gonna go forth they're gonna pick whichever one was here first and then the next and then the next and the next and then hopefully the people in the car in front of us will be back and actually move their car that'd be nice hmm. all, th all three fairies are here what the hell they've been here they've been here the whole time but the did one not just leave a half hour ago as soon as one left another one dropped in immediately oh. okay. all right we're going on maybe We waited an hour. And we get crammed into this ferry like a can of sardines as close as they can fit these cars together on the ferry. Probably like one of the last cars to get on this thing. Sir. Yeah. Christy, literally one of the last cars. Packed in like sardines, and that's where they drive it at. I drive it at. <laughs> and we are off. that it follows this it can go all the way out all the way over back down you can kind of see the sandbars so it gets in the sandbars here goes all the way out and then all the way up 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 over 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 down down all the way through all these I guess I have to dredge this out and then we land up right here on the island to get to the actual inhabited, inhabited? Inhabited. inhabited area which is right here so but we are right here and away we go out to sea out to sea we're going backwards so this is uh, wonderful that's why we need to get out
make our way off of here. This guy hates his job. And we are off the ferry. Now we only have like a 15, 20 minute ride across the whole island to get to civilization. And we're still in the It's gonna be us later. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be way back there. <laughs> and we still in the Subaru with this check engine light on. On an island with no dealer. Alright, where are we going next? We're going to Overcoke. We are on Overcoke. I was trying to think of the name of it. Coffee Company. Overcoke Coffee Getting coffee, getting a snack, and then seeing a lighthouse. Join us. That is not how this intro is. <laughs> we made it to the island. Alright, we need some coffee. Caffeine. And then we need some food. So we got our hot caffeinated beverages from, um, we're supposed to remember these things. Moon something. We got our coffee from there. And I, did, I took some video in there. It's mainly a tea shop, but, um, Brittany got some stuff in there. Caffeine. No, that's not too hot. We got meat sticks and coffee, and then we're going to the lighthouse. Sundays, Happy Jack, Vera Cruz, Brunch, and Ramp 72 in a flight. And look at that. Exploded from that one. And chips for the kiddo. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. It looks like that's how it might be playing if you want to try Yeah, it looks like they just check that out. Mmm. Let's see. Go on, dive in. That was 1718 Brewing. And that was good. Point Plum Point uh, kitchen. kitchen. Brittany got the uh, stuffed crab, crab stuffed pretzel. pretzel. The beer cheese. I absolutely liked it. I didn't eat the, pre the crab part, but I had the pretzel part with the beer cheese. And beer cheese is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good stuff. Chips. Not so much. Not so much. <laughs> now. We're going to find the beach. We're in a car with a check engine light and a storm rolled in. Now we're trapped on Oka Krug Island for the evening, sleeping in our cars. This is a nicer beach. It always is nicer beach. It's so nice. Look here. at this beach. We say it every year. We need to just come to Oka Krug Island <laughs> and just stay here. Look at this beach. It's always Actually perfect. Actually a beach. It's perfect. Check this out. 
very flat, very looking soft sand. The waves don't look bad at all. It's always a perfect beach here. And yet, we never, you don't spend enough time here. These beaches at Ocracoke Island are always so perfect. Look at this sand. It's so perfect. What do you think of this beach? Oh, look at you, photographer. <laughs> Fire pits here every night. What? Yeah. It's a sandbar. Like it's Look deep. at the thingy going. Like what is that called? The sandbar. No, but remember when the wave starts and then it shoots down? Look, do you see it? Watch. Do you see how the wave is like shooting? What's that called? There's a nice like sandbar out there in the middle. Like there's a deep area right there. And then a little further out, there's the sandbar. That would be so cool to sit out there in the sandbar. Yeah, bring your chair. Why is this beach always so perfect? I know. It literally looks the same as last year, where it's ours. I figured it wouldn't be this nice. Like, oh, this is going to get wrecked like last year. Like our place. She's going to check it out. She's going to get wiped out. <laughs> Go on, you said you got it. I feel like if you enter that, you're gonna get like swept that way. Yeah. For those wondering, do you stay in Outer Banks or do you stay down at Ocracoke Island? Give this a try. Ocracoke? Ocracoke? Ocracoke Island, I'll get it right. I think I need to stay here to get it right. <laughs> so different here compared to regular Outer Banks. I think it's worth staying here. Again. So we had dinner at the Back Porch Grill. Mm -hmm. Quite nice. That's our fancy place to eat on the island. Um, I always get the same thing every year. This is my third year in a row getting it. The Dragon Bowl with chicken. It's kind of like a Chipotle bowl with chicken. Warm. It's Asian-y. asian, -y. asian -y. What'd you get? And that was 5.30, I think we got there. And now it's seven. We got out of the restaurant at 6.50, and now we are driving safely across the island from the restaurant to the ferry, because the last normal hour ferry is at 7.30 p.m., and then after that, it's every hour. So we're trying to get to that ferry before 7.30 so we can hit that. If not, then we're just sitting in the car for an hour waiting on the next one so the race is on me and this truck in front are we're gonna make it we're gonna make it with plenty of time to spare so we missed the ferry yeah now we get to wait an hour and a half that's where the ferries pick up at the next one is not sitting here with the window down and it just starts dumping condensation or Are something the lights off? all over and it's still dumping condensation rainfall, not condensation. It's, it's like rainfall oh, but, from the but only on on Brittany's side of the car it's it's not went over here so we think it's like an AC unit or something up there just dumping she had the window down when it happened so she got a little sprayed Got a little shower. <laughs> but now we have an hour, an hour out at sea, back to the mainland, and then about 45, <laughs> an hour home. So we'll be home in about 10, 11. And we do.
do this every year. Maybe next year we'll plan this better and actually get there at like nine. Leave early. Probably. Probably. Memories! I am still very sunburned. Yeah. It's been a few days. I think we have passed day seven, eight, and now it's nine. It has been roughly 1,700 miles into this trip. Um, like I, I did an oil change right at the start of this trip, so um, a little bit of other, like, extra stuff before it, but I am back in Maryland. Um, this trip consisted of starting in Maryland, driving to the Outer Banks in North Carolina, driving from North Carolina to South Carolina, in which we saw this random triple trailer, or double trailer monstrosity. Um, this was like a minivan, which had a winch welded to it with another vehicle with a hitch on it, or not a winch, a hitch with a, you know, the, the front part of a hitch, and then another vehicle behind that with the whole hitch welded onto that, and all three going down the highway with the hazards on. Weird. That was the only memorable thing. Uh, the last actual day of vacation, we spent completely on the beach. Um, we finally had some decent weather, a little windy, a little bit, but it was that finally sunny, finally warm. So we ditched all the technology. We just hung out on the beach that entire day. And then uh, we packed up because we had to leave uh, Outer Banks on the following morning at 6 a.m. So we got up at 6 a.m. and we started, or we got up at 5, left at 6, started driving to South Carolina. Stopped at McDonald's for coffee, realized their coffee is weak and sucks. Then we stopped at, I think it was Sheets for coffee, and then realized we must be coffee snobs because both of both coffees we got were just not up to par. It was it was not it was not cutting it. We're so used to really strong brews or cold brews, and yeah, it was just it, it wasn't enough to, to, to keep us going well so it'll be great to get home and get back to a normal coffee um, and then this morning I left South Carolina and now I am back in Maryland so this trip is concluding um, and as most trips go there wasn't a whole lot to show at the end we were just kind of hanging out technology free for a little bit um, trying to soak in the most of vacation that we could and I'm about to come home so Hope you've enjoyed this two-part series. Well, technically three-part series. Um, a little bit of vacation life in the Outer Banks. Um, getting used to the vlogging thing and the adventures thing. Uh, you know, normally I'm used to working in the, in the garage uh, on cars, so filming out in public is, is new. It's not something that is easy to do at all. Um, but we're getting used to it. Practice makes perfect, so we'll do these every once in a while whenever we go on these kind of trips. Um, but for now, it'll be getting back to... I'm thinking a little bit of work on the van again, but probably going to go full full speed ahead on the uh, WRX wagon, the abandoned WRX wagon, get that going. Um, and I'll share some details around that in the coming weeks. Um, crossing this two-lane road. There we go. So, if you like this kind of content, you want to see some more Sometimes Adventures, again, sometimes, not all the time, drop a thumbs up. If you have any encouragement on how to make vlogs how to do vlogging better well what we could have done better because it was rough i know it's rough drop a comment down below um i will see you next time peace